What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery and today I want to talk about tattoo art. Now, I love tattoos. I love them, I love them, I love them. I've been told on many occasions that I should become a tattoo artist, but personally, no. I, I don't think I have the nerves to draw on someone's skin. Now, am, can I learn it like any other skill? Yes, I, I can learn it like any other skill. But there's something about the idea that you know when, when you when you put when you put a tattoo on somebody is there. When you put an ink on somebody is it's there permanently. And the last thing I want to think about is man, if I misspelled this, if I put if I put a line. So I put a wrong line here, you know, it can mess it up forever. I don't want that. I, I, that that's why I have like so, some of my, some of my highest respect in the arts go to tattoo artists because it's not just a piece of paper that they draw on and you you control what you control what the paper does. With skin, the skin has muscle it has veins it has fat it has nerves and you know you have to account for being in a certain part of the body and how much how the, the amount of layers of skin there is on one part of the body as opposed to the other and if you go too deep or if you if you're too shallow how much ink will show up how much ink won't show up and if you hit a part too deep the person can move and it can be you know you can like just scan, like go across the wrong way, and you know it's my highest respect. Salute, my highest respect goes to the tattoo artists of the world because you all have a skill that, to be honest with you, I am afraid to try. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be afraid to try, which also is the reason why I love tattoo art so much. The intricate detail and you know the subject matter and stuff. You know just the colors. I, I love I love colorful tattoos like like big mural like color tattoos or maybe like if it's in black and white like 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 a like a scenic black and white type thing just I love that I have a few tattoos of my own I have I have a color, one right here Pisces symbol I have right here of a, a eight ball and wings and overall I I myself have ten tattoos some. Some are like maybe like this big, some are like really small, but overall I have ten tattoos. And it was a decision I made. I've always been I've always been fascinated with tattoos. Not like, oh well, I saw somebody do it and you know, I want to do it because someone else had one. No. I've I've always been interested in tattoos since I was a little kid. Since I was a child, and I've always wanted one. But I always say, I always say, if I were to ever get a tattoo. It will be of my own design. Okay. I will design it myself because then it will have it will have significance to me. It would have I would know the meaning. It won't be like oh I put something I have no idea what it means. If I draw it myself, I personally know what it means and why I put it there. Okay. So, you know some of my favorite tattoos. My my two of my favorite tattoos actually. It's one here. You can see these. Uh, uh, it's actually three of them. You see on the very top. It's like a. Um, it's like a, a family uh, coat of arms that I made myself. It has has my surname Thomas. And at the bottom of it, you have uh, five letters on there. M, F S, M G eight twenty six. That is my niece and father's birthday. My niece. My uh, my father passed away. My niece is still around. Hey, Sky. And they had the same birthday, so I put you know, their initials together. Michael F. Stevenson, Sky Makasha Gaston. Okay? So that's their names. And why well, I have one on my forearm, I don't know if you can maybe see it, but I have one on my forearm. And it's of uh, it's from uh, Shakespeare. Um, Hamlet, uh, to thy own self be true. No people know that. And it's just some it's just something just to just to represent no matter what goes on with me. Always be myself, whether it be in the whether it be good or bad. 
remain yourself at all times. Be yourself. And when you're always being yourself, you'll never be false to anybody else because you'll always be true to yourself. So, yeah. But I've, I've always loved tattoos. I've, I've loved tattoos. I've, I've always wanted to go to like a tattoo convention. I've always wanted to go to one. But I don't know any tattoo conventions around here. But I've always wanted to see like just these brilliant, these brilliant designs. And they, and they got this, this 3D tattoos, the 3D tattooing. That stuff blows my mind. Like to, to do a tattoo and make it look like it's three dimensional. Like it make it's just it's on a whole other level, man. It's just the creativity that tattoo artists have. Knowing knowing the materials that you're using to create this stuff. Like I can do that on paper. But to do that on skin, living skin, man, it's a skill and talent. And nerves of steel, like you wouldn't believe. It's it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love tattoo art to all the tattoo artists of the world. Keep doing what y'all doing. I love your work. Love it, love it, love it. And more power to y'all. Peace.